Today I'm going to be testing out the Viral Mamacita Cosmetics Peel Off Glitter Glue Gel. So you apply this, pat your glitter on top, and then once you're ready to remove it, you just peel it right off. It looks so satisfying, and it's supposed to take the mess out of removing glitter, which is normally a very annoying process. I got a bunch of different glitters to test out with this peel off glue. There's this one, which is more of a super fine traditional glitter. These, which are more chunky and varied in shape. I also got these adorable heart-shaped glitters that I'm planning on placing individually. And I have some rhinestones because I feel like if this works for glitter, then it'll probably work for these too. I'm also gonna be wearing a glitter look all day to see if the peel off glue starts peeling before I want it to, see if it creases at all, or if it makes the glitter fall out worse. This is my first time using any sort of product like this, so my plan is to apply as little as possible and just move quickly. I'm gonna do one eye at a time. I think I wanna start with the heart-shaped glitters just because working from least messy to messiest makes sense in my brain. I'm gonna dip my liner brush into the peel off glue and make like a winged shape and then just apply the hearts one by one. So the glue has definitely already dried. I feel like you can slightly see it when I turn my head. It's like a little bit shiny. Okay, now it's the fun part and I'm gonna try to peel this off. I wanna try to get it as like one piece. I don't know if that will happen, but let's see. So that peel off definitely wasn't as satisfying as I wanted it to be, probably because the line of glue was so thin, but it definitely came off no problem. There's no residue left behind. It just peeled right off. Now let's try it out with the rhinestones. I think I'm gonna try to do like a little rhinestone wing or something. I wanna see if I can peel off a whole shape. I wanna do that. I wanna get it right. Okay, that application was a little bit trickier because I used my tweezers to apply and I kept getting it stuck on the glue, but thankfully everything stayed in place. I didn't have too much trouble at all. And it looks really good. Well, really good for me. Okay, now let's try to peel it off. I almost got a perfect peel on this side and then I ruined it, I'm so mad. But the removal was still really, really easy and there's nothing left behind. It does lift the makeup underneath, but I assume if you're removing it, you're taking your makeup off, so that's probably not a big deal. Okay, next I'm gonna try the peel off glue with regular glitter. I have a feeling it's about to get a lot more messy, but hopefully it works just as good as it has been working. I'm just putting down a little bit of cream shadow first. I hope the glue does not mess with this too much. It is a lot messier when you're working with a finer glitter for sure, but I didn't have any problem getting the glitter to stick to my eye. I think I did have an issue with putting on a little bit too much. I think I went in when it was still too wet, but now I know for next time, just do a thinner layer when you're working with this kind of glitter and it should go on no problem. That came off no problem, no surprise there. This glue has been really, really easy to use so far. I do have some glitter above my crease area. That is because I didn't place any glue there. That's not because the glue left it behind. If you do want 100% all of that glitter to come off in one shot, you do have to place down glue everywhere you're gonna place glitter. I just didn't wanna take it up that far. I think I'm gonna try it out with the chunky glitter next. I'm definitely going for something bigger and more like geometric because I want to use a lot of glitter. I want to use a lot of glitter and get my perfect peel. Even though some applications were messier than others, this glue worked really well with all the glitters that I tried it with today. I'm gonna leave this glitter on my eyes for a few more hours just to see if it starts to peel up at all, but so far, I'm really impressed. Hello, it's been six hours since I applied this glitter glue and this glitter on top. I am noticing some peeling in my inner corners here, right there, and just a little bit on this side. I do think that that has to do with me bringing the glue too far into my inner corners. There's a lot of movement there. So obviously that's where it's gonna peel up first, but everywhere else looks the same. It looks really good. I don't think that I have much fallout either. I feel like I have less fallout than I would if I just used my regular glitter primer. So that's nice. I'm dying to peel this off. This glue 
glue gets a 10 out of 10 for me, even with the slight peeling, it does have a little bit of a learning curve. You have to use the right amount of glue and make sure that you're working quickly. But once you figure it out, it is so good and the cleanup is so much easier after and faster.